This next problem, number eight on my web assign, is, is number 27, M.MI, in chapter 24 of Sir William Jewett's uh, edition number nine. Um, this one should have come before number seven in hindsight. It's essentially the same problem as number seven. It just doesn't have the electric, uh, doesn't have the, the force problem. So it's asking for what is the electric field um, a certain distance above or above a, um, a sheet of the uniform uh, density, charge density. So you've got your uniform sheet here. Okay, and it's thin. You don't have to think about it has, the fact that it has a third dimension there. Um, <clears throat> it has a, it's, it's a positive um, ch uh, charge per unit area. So there are a bunch of positive charges everywhere. And so sigma for me is 2.4 uh, times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs per meter squared. And because it's a positive charge surface, we're going to have uh, electric field lines coming off in all directions, not all directions, but coming off uh, from the top going away. Okay, and it's uniform. So all of these field lines are equally spaced. And then also from the bottom, you're going to have them coming off. And they're all going to be moving in the y direction none in the x um and and none here in the z as well it's all going to be coming off perpendicular to the plate all right so we want to figure out whether electric field is um someplace above it and so we're going to draw a gaussian surface that's going to mimic our plate so you can draw a box most of the time people draw a cylinder okay so here's our Here's our Gaussian surface coming out of the top and also out of the bottom. The reason you have to come out of the top and the bottom is because the Gaussian surface must contain a charge. If it doesn't, if you draw it just above the plate, then there is no charge. And so the electric field inside is zero and it doesn't really help us. So we have to do it above and below. And so there's our, there is the amount, there's that little, slice a little chunk of charge right there is the charge enclosed within our Gaussian surface okay and we know that Sigma is constant and we know that Sigma is charge per unit area and so therefore the charge that's enclosed is Sigma times the area of the enclosed surface there so this little area here is the same as this area here, and it's the same as this area here. Okay, so we have we have uh, to look at the flux through our Gaussian surface, our little orange Gaussian surface, and so that total flux is the total through the top, plus the total flux through the middle, plus the total flux through the bottom, and that is going to equal the charge enclosed over the permittivity of free space okay so the flux through the middle this this middle portion here the wrapper if you will is going to be zero because the electric field is vertically upwards and vertically downwards and the area is perpendicular to that all the way around all the way around that wrapper and so this this is a dot product right the the, the flux is e dot da and because E is perpendicular to DA's everywhere in the middle, then this dot product becomes zero because the angle is 90 degrees. So the flux to the top is simply is going to be a constant, right? Because it's going it's uniform through through the top uh, of the of the uh, Gaussian surface. And so because it's constant, we can pull it out. We see that the electric field is upwards and our direction of our area is also upwards. And so the dot product of that makes it just simply E dA. And because E is constant, we can pull it out. And so therefore the integral of, uh, well, I'll just, I'll just show you this progression. We've done it a number of times. And if E is constant, we can pull it out. And so the integral of dA is simply A. So the, the, Flux through the top is the electric field through the top times the area plus zero. And through the bottom, the electric fields are coming down. And so is the area. Remember, the area always points, always points away from the surface. Okay. It doesn't point 
back into the middle of the surface. So this is EA plus zero plus another EA is equal to charge enclosed over epsilon naught. And we see the charge enclosed is sigma times A over epsilon naught. This reduces down to 2 EA. And the A's cancel. So the electric field here is sigma over 2 epsilon naught. Right? And for me, for my problem, sigma is 2.4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs per meter squared over 2 epsilon naught. And when you calculate that out, well, I've got it right here, I'll just show you. So 2.4 e to the minus 6 divided by 2 epsilon naught, and I've just saved e again as a constant. So you end up with 1.36 uh, or so times 10 to the 5th. This is going to be newtons per coulomb. But if we look at the answer, the answer is asking it in kilonewtons per coulomb. And so that's going to be 136 kilonewtons per coulomb. So we type that in and give it a check. And we also know that the direction of this um, above the sheet is going to be upwards. So let's see if that's the right answer. Yay!